By 2025, we will have more autos than everyone else, Vera said in a January CNBC interview. Although General Motors has always backed the goal, they are unaware that Elon Musk plans to fully take over the second largest automaker behind Tesla. Not out of insecurity, but rather because he cannot reduce his market share to any significant degree. Elon Musk cannot afford to have a competitor in front of Tesla. Although the figures are still not in its favor, at least not right now, General Motors' major announcement was almost five years ago, and we all recalled that. Yet, like everyone else, General Motors is also hoping for better days. According to LMC Automotive, GM only has 6% of the small but rapidly growing US electric car market, while Tesla continues to hold a commanding 66% of the industry. This is because GM's production has been reluctant to scale up. To ensure that you never miss an update from us, please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon if you are new to it. Who is a rival that Tesla fears? On paper, General Motors appears to be in a better position to scale, draw ESG-aware investors, and provide cars at affordable pricing for US consumers. What are they waiting for then? It's very clear that they're going to attract a larger audience than Tesla. We continue our discussion to a point where General Motors has an established platform, rather than converting gas-guzzling cars into EVs with a battery slapped on to see why it has a size advantage over Tesla. This is the key benefit General Motors brings up to the market of automotive. The LTM platform, developed by General Motors, places an emphasis on electric vehicle technologies and integrates batteries right into the car's frame. Manufacturing will probably grow up and become a much faster process if a system is in place. It will undoubtedly operate more efficiently than in the past. On the other side, Tesla lacks the existing manufacturing capability needed to make cars on a large scale. What will happen to Tesla's market share in 2025? General Motors is doing everything possible. Another daring endeavor is to compete with Tesla. By providing more models at lower pricing than the competition, CEO Mary Barra believes her company can overtake Tesla in the American EV market in 10 years, making General Motors significantly larger than Tesla in 2025. It now seems that Tesla's energy storage will be shaken to pieces by General Motors. Using the EVs to power their houses in the event of a power outage, residential electricity users are the target of a vehicle-to-home pilot project under the name of Tesla. This is what's known as innovation. Tesla's solar roof and battery customers are already able to feed power back into the grid during times of peak demand, thanks to a virtual power plant pilot that is now being performed by Tesla and PG&D. With this news, however, General Motors gained control of Tesla. Travis Hester, vice president of GM's EV growth operations, said in a news release, the goal of General Motor Energy is to provide customers with access to a wide range of energy products and services, including alternatives to automobiles, accelerating the smooth switch to an electric future. General Motors Energy will use this innovation to help lower the barriers to entry for sustainable power and significantly speed up the adoption of EVs in everyday life. Will General Motors surpass Tesla? By 2025, GM CEO Mary Barra thinks the business will unquestionably overtake Tesla in sales of electrified vehicles. Despite this, it is clear to everyone that Tesla is currently the most lucrative company. Nobody, not even General Motors, is debating their worth. Tesla's net profit in 2022 increased by 98% from the previous year to $2.3 billion. In the same period, GM's net profit was only $1.7 billion, a decline of 40.3% from the previous year. This may seem confusing to you all because GM has more well-established procedures in place. Compared to Tesla's 200,000 deliveries in 2022, they sold 500,000 automobiles. Why was Tesla so profitable when General Motors is much ahead in sales strategies? There are many factors, one of which being the fact that Tesla doesn't spend any money on advertising, saving the business a sizable sum of money. In recent years, it has also increased the price of cars. Tesla's current profitability, which goes beyond extraordinary regulatory credits, is an additional key factor. After years of monopolizing the US market for electric vehicle sales, Tesla and General Motors are finally competing for market dominance. Tesla's domestic market share of electric vehicles will decrease from 79% last year to 56% in 2021, according to IHS Market. The main reason is their enormous cost. IHS projects that this percentage will continue to decline, reaching 20% in 2025 as a result of the massive production of new cars by major automakers like GM. By the middle of the decade, according to LMC Automotive, General Motors will surpass Tesla as the nation's top seller of electric vehicles. When new models are introduced, General Motors previously predicted that its electric car income will soar, rising from around $10 billion in 2023 to about $90 billion yearly by 2030. Tesla made the audacious remark without swiftly responding to a request for comment, but they have since returned with an amazing proposal of their own. Effect of global inflation and electric automobiles. The price of electric vehicles has increased recently. When we contrast the two businesses, we can see that whereas Tesla recently increased the cost of its reviews, GM recently decreased it. The $7,500 non refundable tax credit for qualifying electric car purchases is revised under the Inflation Reduction Act. The requirement that at least 40% of the battery's raw materials come from North America and that the car be produced there is the biggest difference. By 2027, the 40% minimum will have increased to 80%. General Motors, Tesla, and most manufacturers of electric vehicles formally obtain the majority of these materials from sources outside of North America, with the largest market being in Asia. The market for electric vehicles will soon experience a significant change in dynamics. One of the parties who would clearly gain from the 
inflation reduction legislation, which supports President Biden's climate change program, is the electric vehicle industry. But even if new government giveaways are not implemented in the manner that citizens or politicians prefer, many things will still change fundamentally. Why did Tesla choose to acquire General Motors? We need you to stick with us so we can figure out exactly what happened to cause this scenario. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has said that when the GM plant in Ohio closes next year, he will look into buying it. Governor Kashyyyk wants Tesla to buy one of the three GM assembly plants that the company is closing in Ohio. Musk now claims that when the plant's allotment of vehicles runs out, they will take it into consideration. But as a result of Elon Musk taking control of Twitter, General Motors has stopped running advertisements there. The Detroit maker, a rival to Musk's Tesla, said it is delaying advertising as it analyzes Twitter's new course, the business informed CNBC on Friday. It will still use the platform to communicate with customers, but without investing in advertising. The Detroit-based company was among the first to announce billions of dollars in investment to go up against Tesla in the battery electric vehicle market, while CEO Mary Barra was in charge. The employee was unable to provide information about when Ford organization's partners may have paid for marketing, including promoted tweets on the site, when shown a screenshot of a promotional tweet from Ford CEO Jim Farley. Ford continues to interact with its Twitter followers. On the other hand, Tesla may have more opportunity to take over the infrastructure and qualified workforces left behind by the manufacturer if GM abandons further plans. GM was paying $1.7 million per month for Twitter ads, which is pretty ordinary for an automobile advertising buy, according to Media Radar, which compiles statistics on typical advertising-related data. Half of the top 100 advertisers have quit using Twitter since Musk bought the website, according to a Media Matters survey released last week. The study estimates that since 2020, these marketers have spent almost $2 billion on the website, including $750 million this year. Advertisers' uneasy position as a result of the Twitter content decisions made under Musk's direction is a contributing factor in the advertising boycott. All of this is taking place as GM announced the closure. They claimed it was a component of reorganization that also involved growing their staff. Who do you predict will prevail in the conflict?